Greetings guys, Del Puckett here. And this is gonna be a different kind of a video. I wanna call this video here, The Secrets to Mastering the Cigar Box Guitar. But first I wanna introduce you here to this seven fret pentatonic three string cigar box guitar. It's tuned E, B, E. And I just use my ear to put the frets in there and it matches the pentatonic scale. So it would be like the open, uh, then the third fret would be G, the next fret here, this would be like the, the fifth fret, that would be A, this would be like the seventh fret and it would be B, this here would be like the tenth fret and it would be D, and the twelfth fret obviously is the octave. So these are power chords. Following the E minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so the very first secret of playing the cigar box guitar is you gotta love it. I heard recently that it takes 10,000 hours of something to achieve mastery, right? So get started. You gotta play, you gotta play. That's the main the main thing. Uh, the second secret is you gotta build one. Because as soon as you build one, you're gonna realize how easy it is and how cool they are. And you'll be addicted. Next thing you know, you'll be building two, then three, then four. And then as you build them, uh, you get really become really familiar with the instrument. Um, building takes away all the intimidation of the instrument. It's like you take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together, tune it up, take the strings off, on and off, whatever, like that. The rewards of doing that are huge. They really are to mastery. Uh, the next three things, I actually wrap up three items into one. I call it intonation, tuning, and timing. What intonation is, is moving this saddle around so that the harmonic lines up over the 12th fret. Okay, The harmonic has to line up over the 12th fret, and you do that by moving the saddle around, right? That is crucial to the instrument sounding in tune and correct. Um, the next thing is tuning. Uh, the, the nature of this instrument here is you're going to tune it to a power chord, 151. And you just tune them so that it's very stable and very strong sounding. It's got to sound good, solid, and strong. Then you just take that and just move it around with one finger. Or you can do it with a slide. Um, the next thing is timing. Timing is really not just important for cigar box guitar playing and mastering, but it's essential in all kinds of music. And this is the way it's really easy on this instrument because you're just going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, and you're going to count one and two and three and four and. And the, and the trick is, is don't stop. Be relentless with this right hand, one and two. Even if you're not playing and you're just like hitting it once, like one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. So, so the down is the one, up is and, down is two, up is and, three and four and one and you can go fast or slow here's a, here's an example really slow one and two and three and four two And here's another little cool trick, is I use my thumb as like a little drum, whatever you want to call it, yeah. So I, I hit right about two inches to one inch right above the saddle, and, it will, and I get the bounce off the string, just like a drummer would bounce off the snare, right? Um, and then I kind of hit it at an angle. I'm kind of twisting my wrist, boom, and I'm attacking it. And so the same thing, I'm going to count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And then I can move that around. You can start getting all creative with, you know, ha like hammering and over here and sliding and attacking, get like triplets. 
There's lots of things you can do with this attack mode. So that's it. Uh, that's the very first video of Secrets to Mastering the Cigar Box Guitar. I'm going to create more and more and more, and this will give him more and more information. You become more and more and more of a master. Um, you got to build one. You got to play. You got to love it, right? You got to intonate that dude, tune that sucker up, play it like, you, like you're going to break it. Seriously, you got to attack that thing. So there you go. Say hi to my little friend, Seven Frets. Seven frets is all you need. 24 frets is, what, 17 frets too many? I'm not sure about the math there. Just like six strings is three strings too many. <laughs>